FDA insists the nation's milk supply is safe after fragments of the bird flu virus were found in some milk samples. The Washington Post reports the fragments were found in samples taken from grocery stores in the U.S., but officials have not said where. This may indicate that the outbreak among dairy cows is wider than what we thought. As of right now, this does not pose any threat for the individual, meaning fragments of a virus, if it's found in your milk, can actually cause disease. The FDA says the commercial milk supply is safe in part because of pasteurization, which heats milk to a specific temperature for a period of time. Officials saying even if virus is detected in raw milk, pasteurization is generally expected to eliminate pathogens to a level that does not pose a risk to consumer health. In Ohio, where it's believed the virus is coming from other states, infected cattle are removed from the production line. That milk is not ending up in the milk supply. Bird flu cases have been detected in cattle in at least eight states, from Idaho to North Carolina. In Texas, a farm worker was infected, believed to be only the second human case ever in the U.S. As of right now, we don't have any cases of human to human transmission. But if a flu virus such as H5N1 mutates, and it's able to spread from animals to humans. This could lead to more illness and potentially a flu outbreak. For the everyday consumer who has milk in their coffee, has cereal for breakfast, is it safe to continue business as usual? I would recommend that anyone who is using milk on a daily basis uses pasteurized milk and you are good to go. Again, the FDA recommends that you do not consume raw milk or dairy products that have not been pasteurized. The agency says more testing is underway, including in fertilized eggs. Results are expected in the coming days or weeks. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.